Uh, 2007, I was working out at Mike's gym. A uh, little plug for them in Mifflin Wakefield MG Fitness. And uh, I saw a casting call for a movie called What Doesn't Kill You out of South Boston, directed by Brian Goodman. Uh, a couple guys in the gym told me that I should get on an audition. I didn't really know what, much about acting. I never did any acting in high school or college. And um, went down cold turkey. I called them. They called me back. They told me to look up online for the scenes. I grabbed the scenes. I went down. They told me I had a call back, the AD on the set, on, on the... Um, that was filming the uh, audition. I asked her what a callback was. <laughs> she said that means you come in the next day and read for a uh, casting uh, company. And I came back in and read for Angela Perry at Boston Casting. And I did one take and she said, um, you did a great job. It's up to the director. A week to the day they called me at my school where I was assistant principal and said, uh, congratulations, the director is, um, want you to be cast in the movie. And that's how I got started. You know what's funny? Because I came in and, 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 and I had talked to John and, and I, through email and, and John and I were talking and I had said, geez, you know, a friend of mine had turned me on to this. I, I didn't even go on the NewEnglandActors.com, whatever. And uh, he said, well, you know, I read this part and then Murphy, you'd be great. And I was going in with this whole mindset and I had talked to John on email and John said, well, I'd like you to come in for Resnick. And I, I didn't really know much, but then I had read, you know, read the script and I had read for Murphy, for Resnick, and then John had read me, uh, had me read for... Um, yeah, Benny. So I had read for all three, and then John had called me and said, you know, I really think you could play all three, but Resnick would be the one that I really want you to play. I had a, a good feel when I came in for the audition. I had an honest God feel that I, I thought I would be able to get a call from you and, and receive a part in this movie. But then when I started working with you, it was really exciting because I think it takes a lot to be able to direct, because I don't know enough about directing to even talk about it, but I see what goes on through when I was here, even for the short time I was, and for what John was doing behind the camera, but also when we were doing our scenes to work with him as an actor. So I, I, it, it takes a lot, and to put your whole heart and soul into a movie and be able to be in every part of the process, I really have a lot of respect for John. You know, I, I didn't, I don't, and I'm, truthfully, I don't feel overwhelmed in any, in any setting. I feel I believe in enough in, my, in who I am and the energies I can bring to a character. And uh, I feel like I've, I talked to John enough about the character. I feel like I, I went through the character in terms of the script and I felt like I took a good angle on it. And working with Robert was an amazing experience, don't get me wrong. And I totally respect him for what he's done. I've you know, obviously looked up his credits on IMDb and I know him from Donnie Brasco and a bunch of other things. But I feel like it was more exciting to work with him. And just the experience of that and, and John giving me the opportunity to play that character and hopefully be that believable character in the movie was just, you know, just a great experience. I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the film myself, so. I learn from every actor I work with. I feel like I, I take something out of every scene that I'm in, and I take direction. I'm very humbled by being in a movie, and I respect John as a director and an actor, but you know, when John talks to me about things, he, he was very open about things and the, the angles I brought, but he also gave some direction, which was great, and you learn from that. And if, you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you want to be a great actor, you listen. My father always said you have two ears and one mouth, you listen twice as much as you talk. Well, I'm moving to New York in a week or two with my fiance and my son, and um, my agent's down there, and I just got cast as a recurring on a uh, new show called The 22 in New York. Robert De Niro was the executive producer. James Magel was the director of the pilot. Um, and hopefully, you know, with with the good Lord willing, I'll be filming some Law and Orders and some, um, I just I just auditioned uh, Tuesday for Unforgettable, a new show on CBS. Mm -hmm. And I hope to be doing a lot of TV and film and hopefully a couple commercials because commercials pay the bills pretty much. And, uh, and I just hope to make it a career and, and be a, what, I, and I know there's a lot of expressions, but I hope to be a consistent working actor and, and I just have a passion for it and I just want to keep working at it and get better and better and be successful at it and just, I just love being on set and just love, you know, being that character and creating moments. I, I think I got more of a personal experience working with Wild Beagle Productions because I was able to be with the director a lot because John, as an actor and as a director, I was with him all the time, pretty much. So it was good because I, I have that. It, it's got a real family element. I don't know if that's, I think that's the right word. I mean, I, I'm gonna say it's, it's a family element because never mind that Judy's wonderful, is who she is as a person, but she's she's really what makes what makes things tick. And obviously John as a director and as an actor and everybody, I mean, the, the camera people, the crew, Adam, everybody, just I, I can't go into naming everybody, but just everybody involved, it was like a family atmosphere. But it was a very serious, very intense, very um, professional. And that's probably not the right word, but it, it really was a professional atmosphere. And I felt like it was just something that I really got a lot out of and I'm gonna take with me to move on and further my acting career. And I think I learned a lot from everybody on the set.